Fala galera, tranquilo? Estou aqui no início do vídeo para convidar todos vocês para participar da nossa comunidade Aleartes, um grupo relacionado especialmente para CSGO. Vamos trocar bastante ideia sobre o jogo, sorteios, lobbies, mix com a galera e outras novidades exclusivas para todos que estiveram no grupo. Então não perde tempo, é de graça e infelizmente as vagas são limitadas. Link vai estar na descrição do vídeo, basta descer a tela aí e entrar, fechou? Vejo todos vocês lá, é nóis guys! Overpass, I love this map. This is where people get exposed if they're just not good enough. The Julies won't be good for either of those two pushing short B. And that's map control taken by Forza. Not going to charge straight in with that, though, but Jerry will collect those. There's still one flash in play for Na'Vi. So they might try and time Ooh. that oh. well. It was actually simple stealing the kill from behind him. The artist formerly known as Nipple. Ooh. Taking one in the face. Jerry's moving through with those dualies done. It will be lost again as Simple looks for his third of the round. You can see the flashbang support as a result is dropped, leaving Krad and Zorte. Now it's just Zorte. One versus three. Na'Vi able to hold despite that early loss on short B. They... And I'll make life easy, but again, you can see Forza trying to get close and use these numbers. So Simple will have to fall back surely. He's got to fall back and... Try and bait them into bit who swings with the MP9. Electronic is here as well. And that's going to be quite the cleanup. They won't lose a single player. And again, the the limitation of risk there is quite well. Yeah, quite one good they now. have played a hell of a lot in the last three months. I'm sure, we can expect the standard map control utility to be on point from them. They will slowly start to move towards bathrooms where Bit is not ready for that first fight and Simple can't follow up either. Great start to the round from Krat. Huge start to the first buy round for Forza. Gonna get expensive very quickly for Na'Vi. Well, it already has, really. How do you respond to this situation? Combine the efforts on B. The A bomb site's well and truly being taken. And more scalps being taken by Forza as well. Perfecto and Electronic may not be able to save much here, but then again, they've got the SMGs, not the rifles. They can still do damage in the round to come, though. Getting tagged one way or another, Krad. Down he goes. Narby needed an aggressive response. A little short on util. You can see Jerry trying to make a difference now. What is happening there? NPL's got a USP. Perfecto. Maybe trying to switch huh. weapons, I don't know, but NPL's gone down in the meantime, as has Simple. The dream is collapsing pre-PDQ pretty damn quick for Na'Vi. Two versus three now. Flurry of frag suddenly for Forza. You can see Jerry is using the time he has afforded to him. Still a minute on the clock for Forza. Jerry is low on health here, so this fight is winnable for Perfecto. And indeed, the headshot delivered. And now Fours have to figure out, do they want to go into this B site? They've seen one of the two players here. So maybe they'll use that info to their advantage. Where that Perfecto is likely positioned on short. Now that Perfecto is in that advanced position, Bit decides to rotate away. So it really is all on the anchor. Oh no, Bit has come back and spotted them. The smoke onto the site will help though. Molly into short, not going to do enough because Perfecto's able to smoke it himself, but the fight won by Zorte. And now Bit has to find both these players, and, well, he's been blinded early. That allows a reposition. Shalfi also able to fall back. And now Bit has to clear out so many angles on this retake, and Shalfi's reposition is so nice. Bit had no clue Shalfi would like go... Every... There's the anime, by the way, but I feel like every round so far, they've been super aggressive towards the A bomb site. So we'll see if or when they change things up. Anime powered right by Monster, though. NPL holds things down. Exactly what Na'Vi needed, but it is always about how you finish, not about how you start. And Result is here now looking to find something. Caught with a grenade in his hand, and the Molly will do the rest of the work. Does get a frag for his troubles, but it's three on two in favor of Na'Vi. Oh, now, Krad can be a crazy player at times. I've seen him do some mad things. He might not need to here because Zorte just wins that fight against Simple straight up. And now Krad does try to go through the smoke. Zorte still able to trade, but Perfecto might be unexpected in his position. He's pushed to the right here. Playing back from truck now as Zorte 
tries to close the gap. 23 seconds. Plenty of time to try and clear these angles. Now he knows. And the molly is going to be so valuable here. Perfecto. Forced to the right. Zorte hits the shot, but not the frag. Second time he gets it. And fours keep There's going. Inside one way or another. But after losing so many rounds early, they may be forced to play a little more passive. That's the bomb scene immediately by NPL. Which will mean rotation for these ecoing Navi players. Oh, whoa, hang on, where did that come from? Electronic just finds two Deagle headshots from the heavens. Maybe there's more to this round than anticipated. Another fight goes the way of Navi. This time the pistols might just get it done. Zorte, the only man remaining, has to clutch again. But the spray transfer isn't enough. Simple arrives from the back lines. And just when it looks like fours have got control on this T side, Navi do that to them. That's one way to keep the score close then, isn't it? Electronic with two Deeg shots from the balcony. Fair fights in this position. See that MPL has the incendiary ready if Simple needs to shoot. Oh, good timing on it. Simple able to get away with the opener and uses that flash to get back to safety. Really well worked by Simple Early. One minute on the clock for the four remaining players who have no flashbangs. They have two smokes. They could maybe use to obscure some angles, but I could end up in giving the CTs places to hide. Bet they wish they could hide from Simple. That bomb is almost in T-spawn, but there are 40 seconds remaining, but that's a lot of work for two players to do on the A-bomb site in the meantime. Jerry swinging forward, and there was a smoke to obscure some vision, but will it be enough? Crad has got more to find after getting two headshots. Electronic and Perfecto down on the site, simple creeping now. 24 seconds remain, and now Zorte has to do it all again, but he's walking into a crossfire because we have bit by that long position, 15 seconds, and he may think better of this. It might be too hard to pursue this round further. So it looks like he'll be saving his AWP. And the money is awkward on fours. Electronic now will cover Simple's right-hand side, but Long is being left open in the meantime. While there's a smoke up, Simple sword of foot, that's enough to get a quick shot onto Zorte. And he'll continue to hunt then. These pistols continue to dance around. Shalfi carrying the swap. Oh, that's a nasty one of the crash. <gasps> and he spotted the shoulder, Simple, with the Keeps 4K. On the left. Now, Resalt could pop out from connector here if required. Down goes Shalfi. There's a quick pop out. But where's the communication about Perfecto's position? He gets another one for free. Three on three as Crad moves through Monster then. And Perfecto's surely about to get barbecued. Indeed he is. But there'll be a trade with Molotovs as Zorte once again is in the clutch. One versus two. Simple and Electronic both on the site. But with connected door open, he's going to be paranoid about his six. Continuing to move forward. Bombs on the floor as well. 30 seconds. This is doable, but he has to dodge the AWP. Smoke up to cover some angles, but he can't cover Simple's angle. But even those rounds were ones where it felt like Na'Vi still had the edge, and then they made a play to bring it back. And now this mid-aggression is working wonders for Bit. This time he wins the opening two fights. And Simple will just fall back happy with the man advantage. So almost a guarantee that one of your players is about to be lost and Shafi looks like he's about to pick all the wrong angles or is he? You can see the distraction with the smoke into the molly. Shalfi with a grenade in his hand. What are you trying to do with that? You can't do that versus Na'Vi. Result and Zorte remain 2v3. ZNPL is in the smoke. Oh, he's given his position away and he's run. That's going to be very costly indeed, but they're playing together a crossfire as there is bomb plant pressure. Zorte going for the plot now, dancing around the pillar. The scope will be heard. Perfecto moving close up into the water he goes, and Zorte will have to fall back as he cannot solve this problem any longer. Locked in here, and Navi know it. Do they want to hunt him down at the end of the round? MPL jumps around. Like we can see Zorte still holding the angle, but he's moving forward. He's a support grenade as well. But he finds what he's looking for. That's a big frag, especially with the output that we've seen from Simple in this half so far. Now, previously, when they got an early-ish frag on the A-bomb site, they collapsed towards B immediately. I do wonder if they might be doing the same. Bit sees the shadows and pre-fire. Doesn't make the full connection, and Zorte is covering the angle. 
Things get more expensive for Narvi as Electronic creeps around the smoke. Then there were two. Perfecto and NPL remain. Forza in a strong position for their fifth round. 36 seconds on the clock, and they've got 405 players on that B bomb site. Perfecto of $2,800 remaining. Would love to hold on to this rifle, but he won't be holding on to the round. How does this long contact play look then? Bit is in a position where he likely is going to have to fight his way out of it. He's got the first. Turns around. It's MPL here to help him. Finally, they deal with Bit. Electronic also in position. Nice shot from Jerry, but it's still a man disadvantage. And look at the rotate. Everyone from Na'Vi in position at the right you time. You to clear out certain spots. You can see connector door's been blown off as well. Zorte posted up, bit dancing. Top connector, there's the cover for Zorte taken away. And there's a cover for Bit. Simple, taking Crad down as he tries to trade the frag. Both these teams dancing around the connector position. Top, middle and bottom. There's a hell of a frag from Shalfi. And maybe there's a chance of Forza after all. Yeah, it looked like MPL kind of just fell off his elevated angle there. So maybe that's what allowed Shalfi the favorable fight. And now this B site will be the end goal for Fours by the looks of things. Using all their utility towards B. Look at the possessions from Na'Vi. Perfecto still down below. Electronic can help him. But Jerry has taken two kills from that equation. And now they can get that bomb down. Simple. Simple. Did he go for a wall, wall bang again? No, it's just going to be a clean one from him. Zorte, if there is one. No one's touched the bomb just yet, though. There it is. So where is the cover now? He looks for Simple, but Simple will get there first. You can see the mouse going up. Doesn't go down too fast, though. And then with that, it'll be 10 rounds for Na'Vi. At where are they? Is everybody here? Are they hiding? Look at this pixel angle from NPL. Spots Jerry and pops his head immediately. Squeezed it like a grape. This is so interesting. Two, not one, but two players through Monster. Probably reading that eventually a CT must appear and surely a free frag is around the corner. Starting to advance now and Resort's found two from that short position. Always a thorn in the side of CT holding that short spot. Bit fishing, NPL around the corner looking to swing now. Imagining maybe he's low on bullets, but he still manages to deliver a third one before eventually going down. Result, Crad and Shalfi versus Electronic and Bit. Three USPs and a Glock. Will they move together through Monster? USP is going to be in the back. 30 seconds remain as... Crad makes his way over as well. Shalfi's holding an off angle. Almost one for free. Swinging on electronic. Bombs dropped as well. Now it gets harder for Bit. One versus two. And Crad. It's a nice looking setup for Forza, but they still need to deliver the frags. There's a jump through the smoke. Shalfi's in the smoke himself. He can't see what's going on. How does he trade then? Look at these frags come through from Electronic and Perfecto. Seems to have solved the issue for now, but Shalfi is still here. Smoke is going. Electronic gets his bell rung, but he's still alive with 12 HP. Crad and Zorte remain two on two. So what he has an idea of where Electro Electronic is, Crad's on a long rotation. Simple and short B might not hear him coming just yet. Laser focused on Monster as he moves through. There's no kit for either of these players. They'll need one on the site. Otherwise, I don't know how they do this. Zorte gets one tapped by Simple as well. They're not going to show for him. They'll try and play the bomb. But Electronic may need Simple to come out to help him out here. 12 HP in a dream. And Simple will just about save his bacon. Team here. Just try and style on people in the group stages of Pro League. Really get to see that difference in level between the, the top players, the top teams, and everyone else. Oh, that's something from Jerry. And it is only the MAC-10, the MPL lost in connector. Still a little spread here, the bomb. Oh, hang on, the bomb in the hands of Bit. That could have been awkward. He's got one kill, but he's still got no backup there in his position. Oh, the this meantime, is real awkward. on the A site. Yeah, this is uncomfortable. Yeah, he's got two teams around him. You can see, like, he is just legging it away from them, but they're chasing him. Oh, no! And the USP will do the job. Keep your gun out. Simple will race over. Sooner he gets there. Well, it's already a rough situation, but how do we even post up now? You've got the scout and the M4 to defend, but Jerry is lurking with a MAC-10. He's on the way as well. You can see how they're trying to cover each other's backs. Shafi looking for a crouch peek. There's Jerry spotted. 
There's, there are 30 seconds on the clock. They'll both be dealt with, and they know where Jerry is as well. Electronic could hold the angle, so they could all head towards B if they wanted to. But it seems they may stream towards A. Now, if Perfecto goes long, he is done for here. There's an AK to be collected. One versus two. Jerry will take that all day. How do they plant the bomb in this situation? Charging forward, Jerry. A scary one for Na'Vi. Bit of taste on that frag. Oh, NPL has got to be careful about the stairs. You've what? got to switch your gun to your left-hand side because it blocks the it blocks the position. There's no way. That specific angle, your AK stops you from clearing the stairs properly unless you toggle it into your left hand. And that is what we have just witnessed there. But even Crad hasn't seen either. <laughs> he has no idea someone's just gone past him. Crad's still like holding connector right now. He's like, yeah, connector's clear, guys. <laughs> Oh, but now we can cut up behind them, and they might actually be completely clueless. Oh, baby. Big spray incoming. He drops that first player. That's the bomb awkwardly dropped behind. MPL has to go back for it. 2v4 towards this site, but Crad continues flanking quickly. And MPL just has no shot here, surely. That's a good headshot. No chance for the trade because this smoke is up. It's 1v1. It's another headshot. MPL needs to be aware they're flanking him right now, but he's looking for the rotate instead, or does he go B? What a read from MPL! Are they close enough to hear him? I think they are. The race is on. He needs to plant it quickly, because they could get to that balcony before he can get into a post-plant position. He manages to escape. He's on for this then. Needs two more for the one versus four. Jerry up in the balcony. Oh, the angle. NPL's looked away. That could have been everything, but timing won't allow him. In this advanced position. They don't have the bomb in hand right now, but a flash over the top. Electronic looking for this angle. He finds it. And now Jerry in an uncomfortable position. He gets traded. Where's the bomb going, though? The bomb might come back towards A here. How does oh, it get no. to its teammates, though? There are two CTs between them, and they've spotted the guys on the A bomb site as well. The jig might be up here as they are both lost to Zorte. And now Simple's in no man's land. He'll trade Zorte, but does he know that Crad is there as well on the flank? He can give the warning to Shalfi as to what is happening. He'll have an angle from Connector as well. If he isn't hurt, that's perfecto. That's Simple. There's no frag for Crad. Shalfi then 1v1, but Simple will trade. Down to the wire we go. You can see a couple of Mac 10s in there. I mean, at least you get the ult for simple, but this is such a top-heavy buy. Oh, it might not matter, though. Crag caught out early. And that's a gun you can recover. Scores are going to have to do this the hard way. Oh, Ooh. no. That's a psychological defeat as well as a, as a physical one. They didn't even tag him. The Mac tag 10. Him oh, man. That is... I think that's where they, this map might be lost. Honestly. How do you come back from that? Well, Zorte's on long. And the bomb's heading towards the A bomb site. It is a two versus four. So we're asking for a hell of a lot here. And he is somewhat flanking now. While Simple lurks. Oh dear, oh dear. After such a battle on Overpass, it's been a great example of why this map is so awesome when you have the right level to play it. But that MAC-10 situation is disastrous for Forza. That puts Na'Vi on game points. Try and throw it a little closer to the flame. It doesn't just fly straight through. Here we go. Ooh. Boost for Shalfi. They need something. Spotted. Yeah, they really do need something. Even if he can't get a kill here, this is information. This is quite telling. And this time, the MAC-10 will be defeated. And then there were four. Zorte might be good for a frag here. Or... I don't know if he got some sound cues. He must have heard something there. That would explain him carrying on as well. So the, the presence being eliminated towards B maybe forces Navi's hand to show some presence there in order to pull the defenses from pillar to post. We can see Crad fishing as that smoke will soon be dissipating. Falling back to the site. Zorte, though, creeping around. has been punished by Simple. He's carrying the bomb. I don't know if Zorte was facing him, if he has that information. 37 seconds in this four-on-four. 
Still plenty of util for Na'Vi to make an execute onto a site, but which one will it be? Oh, well, Resalt wins that B short fight, and that might make Na'Vi go back towards A. They feel like he was so far forward, they don't want to commit to that B bomb site. And so it is Crad and Shalfi with a great chance on the hold. It spots that first player. 12 seconds. They need these entries, and they've got them. Two entries onto the A site. That bomb will go down. And Fools might be locked out here. Smoke is down. Jerry desperately looking for something. Resalt the same, but simple. Playing on the front foot. And Jerry has it all to do. And they're not even giving him the fight right now. Simple's locking him in from behind. That should be it. 16-11, Na'Vi. They steal away Fools' map pick. 32 frags for Simple in that game. A fantastic game.